Hello again. This video is a continuation of a previous video I did where we looked at the oxidation of water into oxygen using the redox pair water and oxygen and NADP plus and NADPH. And we found that in order to do that, the delta G is very steep, coming in at about positive 440 kilojoules per mole. And we looked at the KEQ value and found that that is so small that the reaction will not take place. But fortunately, plants which use this reaction, they convert water into oxygen, also absorb light and are able to use the light energy in order to drive this process. And they uh, use the Z scheme where electrons are carried from a chlorophyll center through several electron carriers and eventually to NADP+. <clears throat> so let's look at the energetics of this process, including the light energy. So just, just considering the redox pair, water to oxygen and NADP plus to NADPH, that one, as we saw in the last video, is about 440 kilojoules per mole. Okay, and so this is um, H2O to O2 and NADP plus NADPH. Two of those and one oxygen. So in order to compare this or actually use this value in the equation, we need to figure out how much energy is contained in eight moles of photons, not just eight photons. You have to consider the molar ratio because this is in terms of kilojoules per mole, and all of these are indicators of molar ratios, so we've got to convert to moles of photons as well. So we know that the energy of light can be found through this equation here, E equals HC over lambda, or H is Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, and then C being the speed of light, and then our lambda in this case, 700 nanometers, so 700 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. <clears throat> If we do this calculation, we end up with a value of 2.84 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. But that's just for one photon. So we've got to convert this into moles. So we'll take this value and multiply it by Avogadro's number. And when we do that, we get 171,007 joules, which is approximately 171 kilojoules. But remember, there's not just one mole of photons, there are eight moles of photons, so we need to take this value and multiply it by eight. And when we do that, we get 1368 kilojoules for the eight photon, eight moles of photons. <clears throat> now, since even though I have it here as a positive energy, it really is a negative energy because this can be taken and absorbed by the plants and used for work, used to do work. So it is, um, it is not, um, it's released by the sun, so that would be the negative energy that's absorbed by the plant and able to do work. So negative 1368 kilojoules plus our 440 kilojoules from here is going to give us the sum total of the reaction with light involved assuming a hundred percent efficiency it's not really a hundred percent not all of the light uh, energy is going to get turned into reducing energy here. So it's not 100%, but assuming 100%, look at that. Very exergonic. 
and uh, which will make this process spontaneous. So this is what drives the light, is what drives the reduction of NADP plus, the NADPH, which is used in the Calvin cycle, and uh, water into oxygen. Alrighty, I hope that was helpful.